Hi y'all, it's Amanda with Sugar Bees Gifts Decor More. Welcome back to my page. Um, today's video is going to be a review on the peanut shaver. Um, as you know from the my one previous video, in the description here on my page, I um, one of the services I offer is embroidery services. And there are times when mistakes happen, whether it be from the machine or poor planning on our on my part um, but I was watching well actually I was ordering supplies embroidery supplies and came across the Peggy stitch remover well as you know the Peggy stitch remover is quite expensive I think the last one I looked at was for the one um, the corded one it was $80 but I do believe the cordless one is even more than that so, um, I was watching the baby's booty and she had mentioned, and I cannot quite, quite recall where she said she saw that, she brought the Peggy stitch remover and she said, um, that she had saw somewhere that the peanut was equally as good. And the peanut is a, uh, it's made by wall and it's a fraction of the cost. I did get the quartered one because it saved me almost fifty dollars. Um, the Peggy stitch remover, she said, you did have to be careful with it because it was fairly sharp. Um, so she had to be kind of meticulous with it. So not only was it kind of expensive, it was a little bit sharper for her taste, but she still liked it. Um, but I said, well, if it's if we're worried about it being too sharp to the point where it would cut into the fabric, then why not go with the peanut, um, which technically isn't made to use for this, but it will work. Um, I haven't taken it out of the box. I'm taking it out now. Um, so I went to Walmart. You can order this on Amazon. Um, you can save on shipping if you have Prime, but I'm one of those instant gratification type people, so I went out on a search for it yesterday. And luckily, after the third stop, I finally found one at my local Sally's Beauty. At this time, Sally's was having a sale um, on them, um, well, on the corded one. Now, I was told that this is a limited edition. It's very small, look at it in the palm of my hand. You know, this is typically used for, I'm assuming, beard, goatee, mustache trimming. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a clipper. Um, it doesn't say what it specifies for, but my husband would use this to, you know, trim his mustache up, sideburns, all that, the little, you know, meticulous type stuff. Um, but we are gonna try this on a hat. Now, I paid with tax. This was $40 and some change. Um, I cannot recall what the original price was before the $7 off promotion that they're having right now. Um, but I've got a hat here, and we're going to give this a try. Um, this is just a regular bean stitch, or excuse me, running stitch, with a small satin stitch around the back. Uh, this was just a practice hat that I always like to stitch out. Um, one sample hat to see how the design is going to look before I do a full run. So uh, that order has since went out. Um, probably won't do these the same combination again, you know, with the color and the, the logo. So we're going to take this out and see if we can reuse it. I think what I'm going to start at next, since the back portion of your embroidery is typically where um, your stitches are locked in. It's basically where it's tied off is on the back of your design. So I think I'm going to start at the back and then work my way to the front. So let's, get, I'm going to tilt you down a little bit and let's get into this and see how it's going to work. Okay, still getting used to my little tripod here. So make sure you can see here. Just going to try to lay this down flat. Oops, a little bit loud. Okay. Really, it's 
It's getting some of it, but let's see if I can put it at an angle. Okay. Okay, well, let's try it from the front. I'm not really having much luck. I'm gonna flip it around to the other side and see. I mean, there's a little bit of it shitting off, but... Okay, it doesn't seem to be working. You can see... It does not seem to be working. Let's see if we can find something else that I can take the stitches off of. Because I don't know if this is just too much for it to handle or what the deal is. Or if I should start by hand with the seam ripper and then come back with the peanut. Um, but I'm not getting any gratification out of that right now. So let's find something else. sample applique shirt here. Let's see how it will work with this. Uh, once again, I'll try to start from the back. Okay. I'm going at it with it flipped up at the moment. Let's try going I don't know if there's any way you can push the blades up let's let's try that because I know on my husband's these like come off but I don't see let's look at the directions right quick Let's unplug this because I don't want my finger to be on there when it, if it decides if I accidentally push the button here. <coughs> okay, it's a standard blade removal. Ha ha. Okay. Thought maybe there was a blade adjustment on there, but I don't. I don't see one. It's a powerful little thing. Okay, let's just snap this back on. Now let's try this again. I guess it would help if I plug it back in. Well, it's somewhat working. Can you see that? I'm going to focus there. Somewhat. Trying to wiggle it down in between those threads. Let's flip it over to where I've loosened these up and see. Oh! It looks to me that if you have a thicker, higher piled stitch like this, that with some time, a little finessing, that you can get start to get your stitches off. I'm trying to see what the best angle of attack is. You come at it with the grain or against the grain. It's 
kind of looking like at this point. Let me grab my seam ripper and see if it helps if we if it would help by us getting this getting it started. And by the way, I love the seam ripper. Uh, I believe this is Hobby Lobby's like so art brand or soology brand. Okay, I've got that started. So let's see if that'll help us along. Because the whole point is eliminating this. You know, the whole point of buying this is to eliminate this, or at least for the most part. That seems to be helping a little more. Seems to work a little bit better going against the grain. Kind of like putting pressure down on it. You can see that. I'm just putting a little bit more pressure down on it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna see if maybe laying this down flat on the table. We've got a good little start going here, so I'm going to flip it over on the inside and see how much progress we can make on that side. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yes, ma'am. So not applying as much pressure now, don't need to. Let's go back on the front here. That's where we're at right now. I mean, we have a little bit of stretching from where the threads were in there, and these have been in there quite a while, I'd say close to a year. Like I said, this is one of my sample shirts. But it seems like if you have a thicker pile or a thicker stitch, then if you maybe get it started with your, uh, your um, seam ripper, it will go a lot easier for you. And I went, as opposed to going with the grain on the satin stitch, I went against it. And it's looking quite nicely. But then again, um, I think with something that lays as flush as this does on this hat, you're probably gonna have to, to pick it a good bit before you can come at it with the peanut. Um, but I was looking at the heads on the Piggy's uh, seam, I can't even think of the name of it, uh, the Peggy seam ripper uh, or seam razor, um, and it didn't look like that the blades were any closer to the end than the peanut is, but like I said, it, it is half the, well, less than half the price, it's a quarter of the price. Um, sorry, I think my light's in the way. Okay, come on now. Let's just move this over you just stay right there <laughs> but I don't this is not a regret I think I'm actually going to be able to use this and have somewhat of success with it um, I would highly recommend 
um, that this the fibers of the thread may dry your blades out and you don't want these to to get dull on you or to rust up on you so I would recommend after every time you use it clean it out real good just like you would if it was you know you just like you were you had been using it, uh, it for hair trimming I would oil them up real good uh, just be leery of how much oil you put on since you are dealing with fabric. You don't want to stain that fabric. But yeah, I am happy with the purchase of my peanut for removing embroidery. It is going to take a little bit of work, but I don't think it's going to take as much work as it would with the seam ripper and my lady bick <laughs> so guys i recommend the peanut i got this at sally's beauty supply right now it's on sale for forty dollars out the door with tax so um but you can order them off amazon but like i said i'm an instant gratification kind of person and i really wanted it right then so i went and bought it but if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And just remember to like and subscribe our page and share. And hopefully um, you're getting something out of my videos. I hope I'm doing a good job. Love to hear your feedback on how I can improve. Um, you know, as kindly as you could possibly tell me. Um, but thanks for stopping by. And this was my peanut review for removing embroidery. Have a great day. Bye.